Hello and welcome. I am, this is Deborah Vick with Victorious, and today I have a special guest here named Moshe with Jump Into Shape. So welcome, Moshe. How are you today? Wonderful. Thank God. Thank you so much for having me. I, uh, my first uh, live recording, interview. Thank you. My pleasure. So first, I want to thank you so much for reaching out to me and connecting. I love that we were able to connect and network through LinkedIn. But more importantly, I love uh, that you're doing something really unique and special. A project that you are launching this month uh, has a special connection to me personally. And I really wanted to have you on here today to talk about this program that you are having and you're launching. So before we even go into this really special program that we're going to talk about in just a minute, Right. Can you first tell our audience a little bit about uh, Jump Into Shape, what sure. inspired you to create it, and a little bit about you? Okay, thank you, thank you. So, uh, I don't know if inspired is the right word, but um, I was about well, seven years ago, I was approaching age 40, and I go, uh, thank God I was, was healthy, but I go, I had a history of health problems in my family uh, from diabetes and heart disease. And at age 70, I thought it was important to start doing some kind of exercise on a regular basis. And I started with a kid's jump rope and then I found cross rope, weighted jump ropes. And then in one year of just jump roping, nothing else, uh, three times a week, about uh, 10 minutes a day, I lost 14 pounds a year. And I didn't need to lose any weight, but I found it to be a very effective way to get a full body workout and, you know, work on my health and I was looking to do. And it's very compact, it's everything I was looking for. And then I ended up uh, thinking, wow, you know, if I was able to help myself, maybe there's other people in my community that can help. And that led to in-person classes for about a year and a half. And then COVID came and then we went online. And thank God we were able to explain to reach people outside of my community, people really all over the world. We've had people as far as Australia join, do uh, classes with us. And through the years, we expanded from jump rope to, to weight and body weight. And for women, we have Pilates and pelvic and serpent and yoga and lots of good things. Um, that's, you know, that's kind of what we provide the, the classes. But what's really going on behind the scenes that uh, people are attracted to is that we provide motivation and accountability. That uh, one thing I found, I mean, I'm very self-motivated, but a lot of people need motivation. <laughs> they need that push and they need that someone saying, have you exercised today? Don't forget to exercise. You know, we have this contest coming up. We have this team contest. And that's where we've been able to find a, you know, a happy balance. And people are, the first time, many people are, are for the first time in life are really taking their health seriously to jump into shape. And I love you said accountability because I'm one of those people. I, I, I'll be, I get lost in so many, so many other things that I'm doing yeah. that it's really easy to put something off to the side. Uh, I know for me, especially if it's something personal, if it's my own fitness, I might not show up. But if I'm showing up for being accountable to somebody else, right. I'm more likely to show up. So right. maybe not the best of things to do. But again, I have for me, accountability matters. But something else that you mentioned is community. Can you tell me a little bit more about the community? Yeah, so, I mean, even though we have classes that are, are live and you know, for religious reasons, the classes are not instructors, the female have to, females have to keep the camera off um, and there are female only classes. But the truth is people have told me that, you know, even the female instructors, some of these females keep the, mostly keep the camera off anyway, but even the cameras on or off, people, when they know that there's a part of the community and they're all working towards the same goal. You know, they, they feel like they're not alone, especially when it comes to exercise. You know, it's everywhere, no, I think everyone in one world agrees it's important, but you kind of like put it to the bottom of the list. I have to do this, I have to do this, because it's hard, it's hard, you know? Even, right. usually things that have tremendous benefit mean just tremendous work to get there. So staying in, in shape and exercising, being healthy, it takes or even eating a healthy diet. You have to make sure you have the right things and you have to cook sensibly, et cetera. So, you know, knowing there's other people there, knowing that we have um, weekly leaderboards, and not just leaderboards, but we actually, on our newsletter, we have milestones. So you'll see people reach X amount of calories burned, uh, you know, all the time. They've done X amount of classes. 
So you want to see your name on there. You want to accomplish. You say, well, I've done the same in my class. No, I can't believe I, I never worked out before. I hear this all the time. I never worked out before. I did 75 classes or, you know, I was number three this week, but in the last guy was number two or the last guy wasn't on the leaderboard. So that, I, I, we have this I, community without even, even sometimes knowing each other. Um, but then we also have individual contests, but I found that team contests are what really drive people. Mm-hmm. When you know that another teammate, even if you only know who they are, even if you just know their name is counting on you, people do more classes than ever before. I, I've had people go from zero classes because they were, you know, slacking off, and then they're in a team contest, they do 10, month, 10 classes that month, and the next month they do another again. So I, I really try to keep the you know, uh, rotation between individual contests and team contests so people are, are motivated, and they do help. People tell me all the time. You know what, I, I, I did that extra class just to call all the five contests this week. And sometimes you don't even know what they're winning. They just want to know that they're in the running. Right. Gamification, right? Gamification exactly. yeah. seems to, and, and I fall into that category too. I've done the same thing at conferences. The gamification definitely uh, is engaging, right? And I think that's a great way to bring in community. Yeah. So, I, mean, I was like, you know, for, I guess someone called me right to the class. And he said, how come I sweat more when I do a live class that's recorded? I said, because you know someone's watching you. You know someone's there. And not just that, but on live classes, you know, we, we always say the person's name. And, you know, I, I know where everyone's from. All the other instructors don't. So I'm saying, oh, I see their name. I see where they're from. I just see when they were at a leaderboard last. And the fact that they know there's a person on us, that someone is saying their name. They know where they're from. They, they're like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm part of something. I'm not just... Yeah, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not going to use any other names. I don't know any other programs out there, but I'm sure there are programs out there where or gyms that you people belong to that if you don't show up for months, you never hear from them. And let alone with Jim and she, it's not that you just hear from me. I'll, you'll, I'll get first, you'll say, I'll send you a personal text. Like, is everything okay? You know, but, you know, whereas I know people, I know what I need to say. Sometimes it's a message, sometimes it's sending them an oracle, uh, whatever it is, so I've had people say, oh, you know, I want to do weight classes, I just want to do jump rope classes, so I send them an article. So, you know, there's really a lot of benefits to the weight classes you might not have considered before. So maybe you should try the class. So it's a personal touch that they don't get lost. They're not just a number, they're not just a name, they really have a connection with, uh, with me, because I'm in shape. Well, and I, and I love that uh, human connection part, right? Because there is so much value to being seen. I know even you were talking about mentioning somebody's name. I know right. I've been in social audio apps, and if my name is called, all of a sudden I'm like, oh wait, someone's calling on me? You know, or someone's mentioning me? Wait, maybe I need to pay attention. And right. you, you focus more, it, re, it brings you back to the space. So I think right. there's a great deal of value to that personal touch. And- well, we should fix the camera. I realized I'm, I had the wrong camera up the whole time. I don't mind, <laughs> I realized hold on one second. Uh, that's why, there we go. That's right, it's from the side. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, much clearer camera. <laughs> Maybe good. Oh, now I threw you off. I, I can adjust it. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I realized I had the wrong camera. I was I wondering was... why it was so blurry. I'm like, I have this nice camera. Oh, there we are. <laughs> okay, now we're better. Sorry about that. And, and I'm using a nice camera and I'm going, huh, okay. But yeah, okay. Now I, I, I'm like, I need the camera that we have for the class. It's pretty good. Why is it all fuzzy? Sorry, I mean, what were you saying? I threw you off. I was wondering why I was fuzzy the whole time. Yeah, I, I I didn't want to ask because I don't I don't want to assume that everybody has you know the cameras that everybody has. Yeah, no, no. So, so okay, good. we're good now. It took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> it's all good. There we go. There the we adjustments. Go. There we go. Thanks. So one of the things that I was wanted to ask you about, as we we're talking about that personal touch and knowing how to reach out to people and connect, that brings me to how you reached out to me. So one of the that you why why did you reach out to me? Let's tell uh, people that are watching. Right, what. right. So, truth is, I was looking. What we'll talk about the new classes we're looking to expand for people with mobile mobility challenges. And I was on LinkedIn. I said, let me just find people who I think could give me feedback. Like you know, that appear to have mobility challenges. And so, can you know, I want to reach out to people. And I say, I have this idea. Like I reached you. You have a few minutes to talk. And amazing. I had I reached out to. Now, maybe so far 15, 20 people have had like four that have been wanting to talk. And uh, so that's every we have is now very all sort of team that are going to, I think, four there, and then one, or maybe three, and then 
you know, or three or four and people refer to other people. But a lot of people, you know, they didn't answer me and I'm very fortunate you did answer me. I guess the question is for you. Why why did you did you why did you uh I guess you liked what I, I, I asked you and you thought it was good? Absolutely. I, I, so for me, it, I'm always looking for ways to exercise that are not going to cause me more harm. And that's, that's very difficult to find. But I've always been, I love adaptive sports. I have been engaged in adaptive sports now for um, probably maybe almost three decades, two decades, two and a half decades. And adaptive sports have always been uh, life changing for me. But getting an aerobic exercise that doesn't cause my body any more injury that I've already caused it uh, is very difficult. And when you sent me, which I do have right here, when you sent me these and I got to I try them, them <laughs> and I was able to try them, I realized how great of an aerobic exercise or cardiovascular exercise that I can get with it, as well as a muscular exercise, especially right. when I engaged my muscles. And I was really impressed with it. So that for me, it was, I'm always looking for ways for adaptations for people, but I'm also looking at ways in which it can be expand, expanded. Like as we were talking of, it's not just for somebody sitting in a wheelchair. It could be somebody with spinal challenges who walks, right. but limitations or can't mm -hmm. jump because of knee issues or foot right. issues and things. So for me, I saw this as a really great way to expand access to people. And of course, the accountability, the community, I think is always something of value. If you know you're showing up with other people, there is always that value to it. So it, it, to me, it was very interesting. Right. Right. And, I, and he, I, was, what I was really surprised about is that we have people on our, our team that are gonna help promote this, that are Paralympians. And one guy actually said, you know, I, I was a little hesitant when you were talking about it. He said, when you sent me the ropes, I was like, wow, these are like the real deal. He's like, he's like, you know, and he's competed, and I think he's, I think he's led people to 55 medals as a coach even. And um, when he tried them, and he's like, no, no, these are like, and then he, he saw the class we put together, and he was impressed. I was like, okay, now I've heard from you know, people who play competitive sports, people like you don't play competitive sports. I'm like, I think maybe, God willing, we really, we're really on to something. And so uh, I hope we are, we'll find out. Well, and I hadn't, one of the things I was impressed with when I tried it, I didn't, again, when you told me about it at first, I was kind of like, mm, oh, okay, I'll give it a try and check it out. But I hadn't really understood what it was. And after experiencing it and showing a couple of my friends some of the videos as well, they were pretty impressed too because now that they had seen what it looked like, they understood the value right. in it. But the other element too is that real deal, right? I realized as soon as I tried it, I started had a cardiovascular strenuous workout very quickly and because I do struggle with some cardiovascular issues and muscular issues I had to adapt different things for it but I still got a good workout with it very quickly right. and that was really impressive to see that but again when you first mentioned it, it was kind of like hmm, I don't know and when I went online to research about it there wasn't I didn't find classes, right? I saw some YouTube videos, I saw some ideas, but I didn't see the full program that like you're putting right. that you've put together, right? Putting that right, full right. program together or putting that support structure together or any of that infrastructure. There were just some YouTube videos that were older YouTube videos of a similar product, but it wasn't there weren't a lot of tools and ideas and ways that you can use it. So I love that you were open to feedback and suggestions and yeah. uh, different uh, things to bring that in together. Open to, open, I mean, even, even with the cross ropes that we use for our regular classes with the, uh, the you know, four ropes, that, uh, you know, Dave Knight, the owner of cross rope, has told me that he doesn't think anyone in the world is doing what we're doing with these ropes. And he, I think cross ropes are number one manufacturer of weighted jump ropes at this point. That's what I think. And he's like, every year I ask him, like, is, is anyone else doing this? He's like, not like you are. I'm like, yeah, great. Um, and but the feedback is also important. Um, I got feedback from one of our other, uh, I don't know, our ambassadors that are going to help promote this. That again, because I, I understand for anything I do with Drummond Shape, not just these classes, I, I welcome all feedback. I, I own, there's always a better way to do things. My wife has told me there's always a better way to do things. This kid I'm doing it, seeing it for five years. No, that's true. I mean, if this kid I'm doing the same thing for five years, doesn't mean you can't do it better. There's always a better way. 
And I want, you know, I tell our trainers, let me know if you have any ideas. I, I'm not about any ideas. So um, someone is great feedback. He, uh, he's in a wheelchair and he told me, he also has gripping issues. He said, you shouldn't have a class where you go back and forth between jump roping and weights because, you know, for him, he needs to get assistance changing back and forth. Right. I said, I never thought about that. So now the class is starting to record and classes will do live. I'm gonna make it 10 minutes with a jump rope and then 10 minutes with the weights. Um, I mean, in fact, even to go further, what we're hoping when we go live in, in November, we're gonna have three live classes a week for, uh, we're, gonna, we're calling them sitting classes, because you know, that covers people who need to sit for various reasons. And we're gonna have one that is just weights. And it's also gonna have special, uh, specifically weights that, you know, that strengthen the hand muscles and the arm muscles. And then we'll have one that's 20 minutes stretching. And then we'll have one that is 20 minutes where it's half using the rope with ropes like this, and then uh, half weight. So we're gonna hopefully go live in three live types a week. And plus by then we should have a, a recorded library of about 10 to 15 classes. So, you know, and three live classes, we're also gonna stage it on three different days. And it's gonna be at three different times of the day. So, uh, you know, one might be early one day, one day, then midday, and then uh, late on a different day. So this, right, hopefully everyone can at least make one live class and do the videos. Right, and, and one of the things too, when you were talking about gripping, right? I put these little silicone things on for gripping right. for me, or weights are, I can't grip a weight. So I got wrist weights so that I could put them on my wrist. And even sometimes right. when people do weights, for me, without weights, just the same arm movement is equivalent to somebody using weights right. because I can't move my right. arms very high because of my nerve damage. Uh, so there's always ways to adjust. And that's one of the things that I liked when we were started talking was your openness to that adjustment. Even though from doing adaptive yoga and dance and things, I've always learned early on just it's okay to do something simultaneously that looks slightly different, but right. is engaging the same muscles. And even though I might not be doing it the same way as another person is, or the instructor is, I'm doing it the way that my body can manage, but I'm still right. getting the connection and that community. And I think that right. really feeds into it as well. Right, right. Uh, even if, even like, you know, it's exactly the same, but say I'm using a weight and you're not using a weight, or even you're not even, even if you don't have the weight in gloves, if you're just showing like this, and the week before you were doing nothing, I mean, it's, it's important to look at, you know, where, what you're doing last week and, you know, what do you want to do in the future? I mean, it's every product, every step you take is, uh, you know, every movement you make towards your role is important. And, you know, right. people shouldn't, you know, personally, people, I tell people all the time, don't don't be this you know discouraged. Whatever you're doing is great. You know, obviously you want you want to be honest with yourself. You don't want to be lazy, uh, but you want to make sure that you're moving in a healthy direction. And as long as you're right. moving forward, you, you know it's a good thing. Just like my my handle, I keep rolling forward, <laughs> forward, <laughs> forward rolling. I got, I have that uh, from Nemo in my head. Instead of keep swimming, keep moving forward is right. is like a little mantra that I have right. going on all the time. So what is the one thing you would like a list? I know we had, we had a couple of viewers on before. Uh, I don't know one's watching right now, but in the replays, what is something you want people to know most about what you are offering? Well, first I want to mention that everyone gets a free 30 days. That everyone can try free 30 days. I send you the ropes if you, for you know, our standing classes or our, our uh, seated classes, you get uh, two ropes to use for free for 30 days, and you get an exercise mat if you need one. And then the only cost it has, if you don't continue, you just have to send the equipment back. So that that's one thing I want to know people know. I want people to know that, in all honesty, that it's important to take your health seriously. And it doesn't necessarily have to be with jumping the shape. Jumping the shape is one option, but I think, you know, as I realized, you know, God's put me in this position, and it's not necessarily to just promote jump to shape. It's to promote a healthier lifestyle. So the one message I want to get across to people is they have to find an exercise program that is good for them, mm -hmm. that works with their schedule, with their capabilities, with their lifestyle, with their other commitments. They have to find something. And it doesn't, I don't think it has to be every day, 
but they have to have some kind of regular schedule where you know health and fitness and exercise is a part of that. It's just it, it, it's a, it's so important to improve the quality and quantity of your life that I, I don't I don't know how people could just dismiss it. Unfortunately, a lot of people would dismiss it until it's too late. So again, my, my message would be that you find the right program for you and you might try a few until you find it and you might start and you might stop and you might, you know, you, you might not find it right away, but you have to start looking and you have to do something. And even if you go for a 10 minute walk today right. and you do that yesterday, that, that's a good start. And by the way, on the screen, there's a QR code and there's a little kind of hidden image of a child in a wheelchair and a, and a, a young girl passing a jump rope over, but oh, that QR it, code, I... <laughs> that's a QR code for your, your for the website for jump, in, jump Into Shape, and that's where you can register for your free 30 days. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, uh, it's wonderful to have you here, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much, and thank you for sharing your journey and sharing this community with us as an opportunity for fitness. Thank you. Thank you so much, and we are going to say goodbye for now, and we will uh, continue this journey in a few short weeks when we're ready to launch it. We're going to share a little bit more about this journey with you all later. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.